please make welcome David Fox, and he is with Moon Dog Phil. <laughs> Today, uh, as a filmmaker, I'd start with an apology. <laughs> I think, as filmmakers, we've often not given enough guidance to business people about corporate videos or promotional films. See, for the most part, I think we've fallen back on the easy whoosh of graphics, the colour and movement that fizzles and leaves you feeling empty. We haven't done the hard work. To be honest with you, I think film, uh, promotional video or corporate video has often been the poor cousin of actual film. <laughs> the promotional branch of filmmaking, as if filmmaking isn't meant to be selling you something, as if films aren't designed to do that exact purpose. Well, actually, film has always been designed to do that. Film is at its core, meant to elicit an emotional response in order to sell you something. And it doesn't matter if that something is as lofty as the ideal of equality, a service, or a power tool, films are in the business of selling. It's just that corporate video or promotional videos on the whole, for some reason, seem to really suck at it. And I don't know why, with some exceptions, I know. So I ask that question, why? Isn't there a consistent way in which corporate videos or promotional films cannot work and be more engaging and have meaning and authenticity? So in order to answer the question of why, I need to go back to some basic fundamentals and ask some questions about why do we buy in the first place? What is the psychology behind buying? Now, I didn't have to go very far because it turns out someone's already done all this work for me. And his name is Simon Sinek. You may have heard of him. And if you're in marketing, you probably would have. He's written a book called Start With Why. He's done an amazing TED talk on this as well. So even if you're not in marketing, look it up. What his research boiled down to was this one astonishing observation. People don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. Isn't that amazing? When you think about it, it's true. For those who haven't heard of that concept before, or are wondering how it could possibly be true, Simon Sinek used, as an illustration, the 1997 Apple Think Different campaign. 1997, Apple was on its knees, it was pretty much gonna go bust. They came out with this campaign, black and white photos, Ali, Bob Dylan, the Beatles, uh, Thomas Edison, Einstein, game changers, paradigm shifters, right? And on the surface it looks like, oh well, you know, Apple's just trying to get some of their magic, you know, dust to rub off on the Apple brain. Simon Sphinx says, no, it's not what they were doing at all. There's not one computer in any of these ads. And there's a reason for that. Apple wasn't telling you what they do, they were telling you why they do it. Very different. And so when you think about it, the reason that this had a huge impact, in fact, pretty much was the starting, the rebirth of Apple, a modern brand, that pretty much saved them, um, is because they'd somehow cottoned onto this idea before Simon Sinek was able to codify it. Now, what does this have to do with video? I know you're asking. <laughs> well, I will tell you. It's like no one got the memo back in 1997. We have been in some kind of void, some kind of loop mechanism where people are still on corporate videos telling you what they do instead of why they do it. Now as a way of illustrating that point, conveniently, I have a sample of my work, which I'm sure. But only, in all honesty, you're not in Georgie's market uh, that we're about to watch. So we're not going to watch all of it, but just the, uh, the first minute or so, and then I'll come back to you. I was 18 and I was a, you know, tree-hugging forest activist and living in this forest that was basically we were getting logged all around us, ancient old growth forest. I was literally living, living up this tree 
and I'd been through a period of incredible depression actually and anxiety and stress and complete overwhelm with life. You know, I was, I looked out and just this incredible sky and the stars and the immensity of, you know, the ancient forest around me and, and I just felt the preciousness of life and of what it is to live with your heart open and how different it is to live with your heart closed and fearful. And I knew then that that was really what I wanted to devote my life to, how to open my heart and, and do the same for others. It's completely changed my life. I just, yeah, everyone should have a Georgie. I just love her, <laughs> yeah. Her work's really helped me to hone in and use techniques on a very regular basis just for my everyday interactions and how I feel in myself. And the biggest thing is that I just feel so much more confident and, and awake and alive. And I don't really know how to explain it, but that's shifted since I started seeing it. Through very practical um, tools and skills they learn and insights they gain about themselves and about life, they find a way to uh, feel confident in who they are again, to trust themselves deeply and to vision and create a life that really inspires and empowers them. I'll well, stop it there because George is now talking about what she does, which is fine because she's already explained why she does it. So now when people ask me what I do, I say I find out why people are in business and I film that. I'm Dave, I'm from Moon Dog Film, thank you for listening. Thank <laughs> you.